Consider yourself alone in a nearly deserted mall, an eerie silence hanging in the air. Something feels off. The once vibrant hub of activity is now drenched in darkness and cloaked in an unsettling, an ordinary night. A routine shopping trip takes an unexpected and chilling turn, leaving an indelible imprint on one person's memory. A haunting hum of the air conditioning, echoing footsteps reverberating in the vast empty space, and a shadowy figure lurking just out of sight set the stage for a truly spine-chilling encounter. Every corner turned, every store sought for refuge. The faceless figure remains always a few steps behind. A gnawing sense of dread begins to creep in. The familiar mall morphs into a labyrinth brimming with menace, the echoing footsteps growing louder, a ghostly reminder of the relentless pursuit. A desperate race for safety ensues, the pounding heartbeat serving as a chilling soundtrack. The person manages to evade their pursuer, escaping into a service hallway, only to find themselves swallowed by a maze of corridors. And then, as abruptly as it had begun, the ordeal ends. Gasping for breath, they emerge to find the stranger gone. Yet the tremors of the chilling encounter continue to ripple through their entire being. The person disappeared, leaving behind an icy enigma. What happened to them, whether they were consumed by fear or by something far more sinister, remains shrouded in mystery. This chilling encounter serves as an eerie prelude to the horrors that can unfold in the most ordinary of places. What could be more terrifying than losing your child in a crowded place? Imagine the heart-stopping horror of a mother whose little one suddenly vanished amidst the bustling hubbub of a packed shopping mall. One moment, hand in hand with her child, the next moment, a chilling void. The child, her child, was gone. With her heart pounding like a frantic drum, she scanned the sea of faces, each one a stranger, none of them her child. The sheer immensity of the crowd amplified her dread, transforming the once familiar mall into a labyrinth of fear. Panic welled up, a tsunami that threatened to drown her, but she fought back, turning that fear into fuel for her desperate search. She cried out, her voice a lone clarion call amidst the cacophony. She darted through the throng, her eyes darting from face to face, searching, always searching, but the child was nowhere to be found. The minutes ticked by, each one an eternity, each one compounding her terror. Finally, the police became involved, their stern faces a stark contrast to the colorful mall ambience. They swept through the mall, their radios crackling with urgency, but their search, like hers, yielded nothing but despair. Then, the horrifying revelation. The child was not lost, but taken. Security cameras had captured a shadowy figure leading the child away their hand firmly gripping the child's. The cold, hard truth sent shivers down the spine. A predator had been lurking amidst the crowd, a wolf in sheep's clothing. But as nightmarish as the revelation was, it led to the child, found in an abandoned store, scared but unharmed. Relief washed over the mother like a soothing balm, even as she held her trembling child close. The child was found, but the kidnapper remains at large, haunting every parent's worst nightmare. The mall, once a place of joy and laughter, had become a chilling reminder of a fear that lurks in the shadows. A fear that could strike at any moment. A fear that no parent should ever have to face. Sometimes, the most dangerous people hide in plain sight. In our tale, the mall itself became an unwitting accomplice to a series of unsettling encounters. This is the true and horrifying story of a serial stalker who, like a predator in the wild, targeted unsuspecting shoppers in the bustling urban jungle of a city mall. Our stalker, a nondescript figure who blended seamlessly into the crowd, began his reign of terror in the most innocuous way, by simply following his victims. He was an expert at maintaining just the right distance, ensuring he didn't draw attention to himself. Yet he was always there, lurking, observing, tracking. However, as time passed, his actions escalated from merely being a silent shadow to a more sinister presence. His victims began to report feeling a sense of unease, a prickling sensation of being watched, of being followed. And then, the unthinkable happened. The stalker moved from stalking to full-blown attacks. The mall, once a haven of shopping and socializing, suddenly became a hunting ground. The local community was gripped with fear. The police launched an investigation 
but the stalker was elusive, blending into the crowd like a ghost. He left no evidence, no trace, only a chilling sense of dread that hung heavy in the air. Then came the day of reckoning, the shocking revelation of the stalker's identity. It was a regular mall goer, a face amongst the crowd, an individual no one had suspected. The discovery sent shockwaves through the community, a stark reminder that sometimes the most ordinary people can harbor the darkest secrets. The stalker was caught, but the memories of his reign of terror still linger in the minds of those who were there. A solemn reminder that danger can lurk in the most unexpected places, even in the aisles of our favorite shopping mall. The horror doesn't end when the villain is caught. A truer statement has never been spoken. The chill of fear lingers long after the immediate danger has passed, much like the frosty breath of winter that clings to the air even when the snow has melted away. The aftermath of these horrifying events was a tempest of emotions. For the victims, the trauma was far from over. A shadow had been cast on their lives, a chilling reminder of the terror they had experienced. The mall, once a place of joy and laughter, had become a haunted house of their own memories. Each corner turned, each store visited, was a potential trigger for the fear that lay dormant within them. Even for those who had not been directly affected, the shock was palpable. The mall was no longer just a place to shop or hang out. It was a crime scene, a place where the unthinkable had happened. The laughter of children, the chatter of shoppers, the hustle and bustle of everyday life. All these were now underscored by an eerie sense of dread. In response to these tragic events, the mall's security measures were significantly overhauled. More security personnel were hired, surveillance cameras were installed in every nook and cranny, and stringent checks were put in place. The mall's management did their best to reassure the public that they were safe, but the damage was done. The mall had been forever tainted by the horror that had unfolded within its walls. And yet, life went on. The mall continued to operate, the shoppers continued to shop, and the children continued to play. But the fear remained, a chilling undercurrent beneath the surface of normalcy. It was a grim reminder that even the most mundane places can become the setting for unspeakable horrors. While these events are over, the scars they've left behind are a chilling reminder of the horror that took place. The mall, once a symbol of consumerist joy, had become a monument to fear and the victims, forever marked by their traumatic experiences, were the living embodiments of this enduring terror. The horror may have ended, but the aftermath remained, a chilling testament to the darkness that lurks beneath the surface of everyday life. These are not just stories, they are a stark reality of the world we live in. The tales we've journeyed through today, unsettling as they may be, serve as a haunting reminder of the horrors that can lurk in the most mundane corners of our lives. Let's revisit our chilling encounter, where an ordinary shopping trip turned into a nightmarish ordeal. The terror of being followed, the heart-stopping fear of realizing that you're not alone, that someone, some unknown entity, is watching your every move. It's a spine-chilling experience that no one should have to endure, yet it's a horrifying truth for some. Then there was the lost child, a heart-wrenching tale of a parent's worst nightmare come true. The panic, the desperation, the sheer terror of losing a child in a crowded place, and the horrific possibility that they might not come back. It's a terrifying reality that many have faced, and it's a stark reminder of the dangers that can lurk in even the most seemingly safe public spaces. Our final story, The Mall Stalker is a chilling testimony to the persistent lurking danger that can exist in our everyday lives. The relentless pursuit, the invasion of privacy, the sheer terror of being hunted in a place you thought was safe. It's a stark reminder that horror isn't always hidden in the shadows, but can be right in front of us, in the most familiar places. It's these stories that remind us of the importance of vigilance and caution. The necessity to be aware of our surroundings, to look out for one another, and to report suspicious behavior. We must remember that safety is not a given. It's something we have to actively work towards. Remember, horror isn't confined to the pages of a book or the frames of a movie. Sometimes it's right around the corner, 
in the most familiar places.